I am on day way too many. I need to wash my hands. That's why they have dry shampoo, right? Dry shampoo can't even help me today. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a sort of techie video, which is weird because I'm not a techie person. I am the least techie person on the face of the earth, I think. But I'm going to show you guys how I created my easy, super easy. When I say easy, I mean easy. Like if I can do it, anyone can do it. How I made my intro for my YouTube channel using Keynote on my MacBook because I recently got a new MacBook this year. So anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing how I made my intro, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, so first we're gonna click Keynote up at the bottom. Then I'm gonna click new document and white and go down to the bottom right and click choose. Then I'm going to click to delete this because I'm going to be using my logo. So go up to insert, choose, and then I'm going to click my logo and the PNG logo so that it has a transparent background. And then you're going to have to resize this And then we're gonna move it to where we want it and then here's where we're gonna enter some text because I'm going to put my handle for my social media and so that's Jamie Swan Beauty for all of it across the board and then I'm going to change the font highlight it and then over at the right hand corner there are all these fonts that you can choose from So I thought this would look good, but then I didn't really love it. So I went and changed it to a different font. <laughs> so I changed it to match the beauty under Jamie Swan Beauty. And then we're going to add um, some graphics. So I just moved it down a little bit so we have some room for that. So to add your pictures in there, what you want, I want some social media graphics. So just go to your browser. I typed in Pinterest logo transparent. That way you'll get the transparent background and um, not, not like a white square around it or whatever. So I have this one saved already on my desktop. So I, so you would normally just click that and um, save image as. But since I have one already, we're gonna go and get that. Okay, so we're just going to go to insert, choose again, and we will pick, well I guess I'm going to pick the Facebook one. I have them all saved, but so we're definitely going to have to res <laughs> resize it again. That's a little bit big. So we'll resize that and then I have another one for Instagram and Pinterest and those are done the exact same way so go back to your internet browser find those download them and then upload them just like I did this Facebook one so I'm gonna go ahead and speed through that okay so once we have those all there we are going to go to the top click format and then we can add little effects to these graphics so I really like the mirror image but you can have like a shadow or a little square or whatever you can play around with that those effects are really cool I really love the mirror image so I went with that now we want to go and add effects to the font so click animate up top in the right hand corner add effect and this is for the logo so this is the build-in this is how it will appear when it first plays so I did lens flare so you can preview it there over on the right and then when you click it you can adjust the speed of how it comes in so I went to about two seconds because that makes it the lens flare last a bit longer and go a bit slower and then we're going to click down on the at Jamie Swan Beauty and back up to add effect and I want the 
typewriter effect because I'm going to go in and add some cool sounds to that afterwards when we add music and stuff like that. Um, but I just wanted to slow the typewriter speed down a little bit so I did that at two seconds as well. And that looks awesome. And then we're going to build out. So this is how it will disappear after my intro is done. So I wanted to do a sort of crumble effect on that and on the Jamie Swan Beauty. So we went in and added the crumble effect on that as well. And then this down at build order. So the bottom right hand corner, click build order. And this is how you're going to make everything come in step by step. So you can make each thing come in one at a time, or you can put things, group things together. Um, I'll show you here in one minute. And you can make them come in or disappear at the same time. So I wanted those both to crumble at the same time. So I struggled a bit here try, trying to figure out how to do that. Um, so you can make, okay, figure it out here, Jamie. <laughs> okay. So if you click with build to or after build to, then that will, okay, so I want this to go with build three and the Jamie logo to come in first. So just play around with those and try and figure out what order you want everything to come in and exit at and that's just really fun to figure all that out. Okay, so here's where I finally figured it out. Lens flare, type in, crumble out. Yes, nailed it. <laughs> so once you have it exactly the way you want it, go click file, save, and then you want to upload it to your iMovie and then in there is where you can add music to it just how you would add music to any other video if you guys want to see a video on how I do that I will link it in the description box below what do you guys think of that video I am very positive that lots of you probably have your own awesome tips so if you do post them down in the comments below because yeah, like I said, not a techie person. If you guys are interested in seeing how I added the music on top, um, click subscribe down below, or this little face right here, this little circle of my face. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel, click the little bell, then you'll be notified when I upload new videos because I do plan on uploading a video of how I put music onto my videos and where I find my music. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to share this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.